could this car be a sensible alternative to the four-wheeled vehicles of today? The Opel Grandland X Hybrid 4 features two electric motors and a gasoline engine. I love green cars and this Opel Grandland X looks especially good in green and it's the greenest compact SUV of a German manufacturer. Green stands, I'm not colorblind, for the environmental friendliness of this plug-in hybrid from Opel. The Hybrid 4 is good for all commuters and also suitable for longer distances with its 43-liter tank. And it shows other people that you are driving without emissions with this LED. It's lightened up and shows your commitment for the environment. On the inside, the Grandland X looks just like a regular SUV. The center console holds the gear selector for the 8-speed automatic transmission. The infotainment screen displays important information on the hybrid drivetrain. The Hybrid 4 has got one combustion engine and two electric motors, one in the front and one in the back. Normally the rear axle is used, but when it gets slippery, the front engine is added. And this is the most powerful Opel because it's got 220 kilowatts. Reinhold takes the Grand Land for a little spin in the snow. Slippery roads are no problem for the all-wheel drive SUV. Inside, the Grand Land differs only a little bit from its conventional brothers. There are three points. One is the small display in the middle. It shows the energy flow. Number two is the driving mode switch here in the middle. You can choose all-wheel drive, electric, sport and hybrid. In hybrid mode, the electric motor on the front axle and the gasoline engine team up to propel the Grandland X. Switching to regeneration on demand enables one pedal driving. That means taking your foot off the gas pedal brings the car to a full stop without braking, all while recuperating energy. Number three is uh, the button here in the middle display. You can choose some statistic data. You can choose the time when the car should be charged, for example, during the night. And very important, the e-safe button for the remaining range, for example, when you want to drive into a low or zero emission zone. For example, downtown areas. Selecting e-safe lets you choose how much battery life to reserve, 10 or 20 kilometers, or the maximum electric range so you can use it later when needed. Who should use this car? For example, 80% of the people because they don't drive more than 50 kilometers per day. And haha, the range of the Opel is 59 kilometers. So if you charge it overnight, which takes about seven hours, you can drive all the time without any emissions. An alternative is to charge the car while you're at work, if there's a charging station nearby. Juicing the battery can be as fast as two hours with the optional 7.4 kilowatt onboard charger. This plug-in hybrid is important not only for the environment but also for Opel because it reduces the fleet consumption. 95 grams CO2 per kilometer are allowed. EU regulation 631 article 10 of 2019 says that each gram more costs 95 euros per car and this sums up quite nicely for millions sold cars. The plus points of the Grand Land? It's substantial all-electric range and all-wheel drive. The minus points? The hybrid drivetrain makes it heavier, meaning more fuel consumption and a hefty base price of around 51,000 euros. But all in all, this Opel is an intelligent option.